Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. Today I'm going to make us a pasta dish for dinner. I'm going to be cooking bow tie pasta with peas and ham. And I got the cutest little bow ties. And if you can see that, and I'm excited, but I've got my water boiling and I've got to get these boiling, cooking so they can get done. And then we're going to start with our peas and ham. Now, I'm salting my water. I've got the water boiling. And I'm going to put all of this pasta in there. And let it boil till it's done. And it shouldn't take 12, 13 minutes. Now, with pasta, do not... Put the lid on it because the starch in it will cause it to spill over and you don't want that so we're getting our pan heated up and i'm gonna pull this over as far as i can so you can well maybe you can see down in there right there okay so i'm going to dice up an onion and i want to dice it kind of finely I don't want big chunks of onion in this. And then I've got, I've bought some already diced ham. If you have some ham left over, certainly use that, dice it up. But I didn't have any, so I bought some diced up ham. You can get it in the grocery. I got it back in the meat section and it's very convenient when you need a little bit or the whole package. This is eight ounces, but that's a lot of ham. Now, I think I'm only going to use half of this onion. I'm using a yellow onion today and you can certainly use a white onion, a sweet Vidalia onion. You can even use a shallot. Shallots a little bit milder, but it would be delicious in this. So let's get this in our skillet. And we're gonna get this onion going. I don't know if you can hear it starting to sizzle. We'll get this onion going. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on this, but not much because I'm using ham. And the ham is going to be salty. It is, um, it just says diced ham, water added. But I'm only going to use a little bit. I'm not going to use a whole lot. Because we can get it too salty and then it won't taste good. So let me get this sauteing. And I'm going to go back here and check on these noodles. And then when I get ready to put this ham and peas in, I'm gonna come back, okay? Now, I just added an eight ounce package of diced ham. I didn't have any fresh ham that I had cooked in the freezer, but if you do, oh, certainly use it, it would be delicious. But I had to buy some and I just went ahead and bought what was already diced up. So I'm gonna cook this around just a little bit. Let's go back here and check our pasta. I think this is about ready to come up. Yes. Now, I'm going to drain this pasta, but I'm not going to rinse it. So, let me take it to the stove. I have my colander already in my sink, and I'm going to drain it real quick. Oh my, I am so looking forward to this dish. I saw this online and I thought I want to try that. So tonight's my night to do it. I'm just trying to shake that excess off. Now I'm gonna bring this over here and just let it sit here for a minute. And we're gonna stir this ham around for just a minute. I wanna get it hot through and through, and I'd like to get a little bit of color on it, and uh, which won't take long at all. Can you see down in there? Oh yes, you can see. So let me 
stir this ham around. I want to get a little bit of color on it. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to add these peas. All right, this ham and onions. Oh, it's smelling so good. I'm going to add some peas. Now, I can't tell you how much I'm going to add. We're going to have to guess here. And let me get my measuring cup and we'll measure it. How about that? And we'll know. I, there's one cup. Let's add two cups and look at it and see what we think. Ooh, that jumped out. Uh, oh, wow. That looks really good. Now, I've got my casserole dish. We're not cooking it. I'm just putting it over in this casserole dish. And I'm going to put my pasta in. Remember now, we didn't, drink, we didn't rinse the pasta. We only drained it. Ooh, I love bow tie pasta. Get rid of that. We don't need it now. That's a lot of pasta. Mmm. <laughs> We're just gonna stir this up. Come on, add a little bit more olive oil. That's a um, couple of tablespoons, I think. Tablespoon and a half. And. Uh, we're going to add that on there, and I'm going to let this... See, these peas are cooked, and once they hit the heat, they only take just a few minutes to thaw out. So that's all we're wanting is for them to... Get back in there, buddy. We just want them to, to thaw and get hot all the way through. And I've got some Parmesan out if I want to use it. Y'all know what? I'm gonna put some butter. I know I added the oil, but it's here in front of me. It's always in front of me. That's about a tablespoon, but that's all I'm gonna add. That was loud, I'm sorry. Let's get this stirred around. Now, I'm going to get this butter melted and get these peas. Oh, these peas, look, they're getting so bright. Can you see how pretty that is? And it's getting such a beautiful color on it. I want to hold up these peas and ham for you so you can get a better look. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to try this. So let me get this butter melted, get these peas headed all the way through. It won't take but a couple of minutes, and I'll come back, and we're going to pour it over this pasta, and we're going to give it a try, okay? So all right, I've got these peas and this ham heated up really good. The peas are hot, and they're beautiful. Now we're going to pour them over this pasta. Oh, oh, this looks so good. Y'all, how pretty. And I'm going to set that out of the way. I don't want it in our way of you being able to see this beautiful dish. Looky here. I'm excited. Let's give it a try. We'll see if we want any Parmesan cheese on it. Wow. But you've got everything here that you need. And we've got our vegetable, we've got our meat, our protein, and um, we've got some pasta on top of it. So what... What more can we ask for? I know I say that a lot, don't I? Mmm. Mm-hmm. But I think I want a little Parmesan. Mmm. 
Yeah, those peas taste so fresh. You know, when they pick uh, these peas or any vegetable that's frozen, they're processed straight out of the garden. So they're fresher than what we actually buy if we go to the farmer's market or a local market because they're processed immediately. They're so good. They taste so fresh. Mm-hmm. Delicious both ways. So if you want to try it with Parmesan, you try it. Mm. We'll eat twice on this and probably have it for lunch. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you will give this a try. And if you do, please let me know what you think about it. I certainly appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. And please like, subscribe, and share my channel. And come join me next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.